This is the demo that Tesla was showing of the user interface for the new 17-inch console. And I apologize for the quality, but it was pretty dark in the room. As you can see, the screen can be split in two to show the navigation and the audio controls or whatever other controls you want to show. Uh, all can be expanded to a full screen view. And different night and day modes with controllable levels of illumination. I also spoke to the engineer about the level of glare that we can expect on the screen because I've certainly suffered from that in several vehicles I've owned. And they said they've done a huge amount of research to try and get the optimal angle and uh, dashboard coverage to make sure that the screen is visible under all light conditions. Some of the controls will be replicated onto the instrument binnacle. I couldn't get the exact details of you know, what was there, but obviously things like the cruise control, some of the light controls, I think, and obviously turn signal and things are going to be on the, uh, on the binnacle. Uh, it does include a full web browser. Uh, there have been reports of 4G. The engineers in the room said it was definitely 3G at launch, uh, but we'll see how that shakes out. And some lighting controls. And then uh, an example that Elon showed uh, in real life, which is a slider control for the sunroof. An overall, very intuitive user interface. Uh, it gives you full access to pretty much everything in the car. The car will also stream real time data back to the factory if you want to do that. That uh, is an option. Now, there is going to be an iPhone app that controls some of these things as well, and I'll show that in the next video. Good, thank you. Let's know if you have any questions about the interface.